<laughs> Howdy, chickens. Welcome to February vlog, monthly vlog. It's now the 6th of February. I don't believe I've vlogged anything since the 31st of January when I did my productive day. And since then, I've just been having relaxed days. Um, yesterday actually was probably my most eventful day of the year. And I, <laughs> I woke up in the morning and I was just on my phone doing phone stuff. And there was a knock at my door, so I had to, you know, slide my way out of bed and put on my robe and opened up the door. And there was my mum and on her hip was my nephew. And honestly, those are the only people I should be opening my door to. Just pure joy. They dropped by and <laughs> I got dressed and then we went to my, uh, well, my nephew's place. His parents. Uh, <laughs> and so I just hung out there for the day. It was so much fun. I was just nice to hang out with my sister-in-law and then mum and then just play with my nephew because my nephew is adorable and I just love it. I mean, this morning I didn't get out of bed until one o'clock. I was out of bed. I got dressed in that, but I'd just gone straight back to bed. As I said, I think in my last vlog, I just love my family. I adore them. Wow, look at him go, reversing up the driveway thing, fancy, do you think he knew I was watching? So yeah, I just hang out there, we didn't do much, we just chatted and it was just good and wholesome. I honestly think that that is what life should be about, having a supportive family around you just hanging out and that oh, i wish every day was just like that but you know people now have to work to make a living and uh, work some more just to keep living and that's just life isn't like that anymore sucks um but yeah so that's what i did yesterday just good wholesome time and then today yeah haven't done much Last night, I like I got home in the afternoon, and my brother came back from being out, and we watched an EXO concert. And I think it's the the second lot of concerts. We were gonna watch the Soul one, but I opened my, my D DVD Blu-ray case, and the like DVD isn't in there, and I have no clue where it could be. I'm assuming it's at my parents because I remember going out there with all my DVDs, watch the concerts on the big screen. But I, for the life of me, cannot think, like, I hope my parents have it there somewhere in their pile of DVDs. So anyway, so we went to Japan instead. <laughs> so that's what you can do when you have the DVDs. You're like, oh, I can't. I don't have the ticket for a concert in Seoul. I'll just jump over to Japan and watch it there. So we watched half of it and we're going to watch the rest tonight and hopefully read the rest of one of the, the album books, uh, Fierce Heart. We were reading Fierce Heart together the other day, me and my brother, and they literally, in near the end of the book, they say literally, the little line like fierce heart so it's one of those books that has the title in the book the moment my brother read it i was like oh and roll credits <laughs> and he just closed closed that <laughs> but that's intriguing so we're going to finish that up tonight as well i think oh here it comes it's coming down forward oh mate he looked at me too he just came driving like n as a normal car back down the driveway like that's 
It's not very impressive. You can't just reverse your way in and then just go away. Like, come on, man. Amateur. Amateur. Anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, I'm putting subtitles and finishing off editing my 2024 20, January vlog. I thought it was only going to be 45 minutes and then I realised I had to add the last bit of the vlog. So we're actually at an hour and three minutes. And I'm going through cutting some more and shortening some bits. So we'll see how that goes. I am kind of tired though. I should probably just rest. But I want to get at least another bit of subtitling done. That's where we're at. I freaking love my family. Ah! Ah! Squoosh them. Alright. There's a start. I'll see you over the rest of the month. Cue! <laughs>
read them all, solve the mysteries. Um, but I thought I should have one that isn't published back in whatever year, 19 or something. <clears throat> so. Goodness, this is big font. 1943. 1943. Gotta have a more recent one. So I thought, I think there's a book called A uh, Good Girl's Guide to Murder, which the TikTok girlies love. And so I thought I'd look up, uh, I tried looking it up on Libby, I tried looking it up in my library, because I don't really want to buy it if I'm not going to like it. There is an audio version of it, so I thought I'd look it up on the Spotify, and we can listen to it. It's one YA crime thriller, and then British Book Awards children's book. It's 13 hours to read it. Oh, uh, well, listen to it. So I'll probably do that as well. And she is 15 years old, so pretty much like my Trixie Belle, the Nancy Drews. So we'll add that to the list as well. And then I've also thinking of doing an Anne of Green Gables comparison. So the book, the very old black and white movie, the Megan Follows movie and Jonathan Crombie movie, <laughs> and then Anne with an E. So there'll be four comparisons, even though I've sort of added the <laughs> the black and white one is more just for fun because I know it's ridiculous. I'm currently adding subtitles to the first part of my February vlog. I decided it's easier to add subtitles as I go, edit as I go, rather than at the start of March be having to do the whole editing and everything. Just trying to save a little bit of time next month rather than spending pretty much the first half of the month editing and subtitling. As part of the videos I'm gonna get dressed up and you know get in my detective clothes and then some Anne of Green Gables. Inspired. Inspired, not actual clothes from the era because I was looking online and it's, it's expensive to buy clothes. I'm sure there's less expensive ones but with my brain power I don't know where. I can get like patterns but that would require me going to the stores to get material and then add it my parents to sew it which I would find fun if I had the energy to do so but since energy is low best not to just add more burden onto that. <sighs> right now I'm probably gonna do a little bit more subtitling. After that I might just listen to the audiobook of A Good Girl's Guard Murder while making some props for my booktube detective video. And we shall go from there. Harper Collins presents a Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson. Oh, I would love to be called Cordelia. I don't know what on earth you mean. It's such a perfectly elegant name. Don't you think? If Cordelia isn't your name, what is it? Anne Shirley. Isn't Anne an unromantic name? No. Anne is a good, plain, sensible name. You've no need to be ashamed of it. I wouldn't give Pip the space to make her own mistakes, if that's what they were. Pip grew bored of the sparring match and closed her bedroom door. She knew their cyclical argument would burn itself out soon, without mutual intervention. And she had an important phone call to make. With a matter of the utmost... ...delicacy. Mm. Indeed. Indubbly. I believe you can use del that way. Delicacy. Cheers. Then at the end of the last chapter I read, they brought out an reflective Ouija board. And I'm like, what is wrong with all these people? <laughs> like, why do we need this? 
Like, I know a section of today's society, right, has that. But shouldn't we be highlighting what should happen instead of what shouldn't happen? Like, a majority of people I know don't do that. But why is it in all the books they do do that? Yeah, they only stop putting weird things in children's children's books. Yeah, Even young adult, I, I think a lot of people are saying now, like young adult is meant to be from. I guess it's, I think it's the thirteen or something, which is even younger than I thought young adult was. I I honestly don't know what the, the difference between young adult and new adult is. And then there's adult. Yeah, so she just pretended to be the friend. In order to, and she's like, this is illegal. Continues on. We need more hands on deck, and I may have a solution. In recent times, there's been a spate of young child and teen detectives. They're everywhere. Some of you seem more competent than even our local barbies. Goes with all sincerity. Inspect tomorrow. <laughs> nice. I'm not sure how to talk about this. Today I was editing some videos for this month and then I took a clip earlier with my brother and I think that's when it started and then just now I was trying on some clothes to try and figure out an outfit for uh, my detective video and some of my old clothes didn't didn't fit anymore which isn't necessarily a surprise I don't know I was just suddenly overwhelmed with I guess like insecurity about <laughs> how I look which I don't I don't think has happened since I was like a, a young teen, skinny teen. Oh. Recently I knew I was a bit self-conscious about this, this under chin area. Um, I guess I haven't felt great in outfits uh, for a couple of years. I guess I still s saw myself as beautiful. <laughs> But then, after trying on the clothes, suddenly, uh, so now I'm like, I want to lose weight. <laughs> but at the same time, how do you do that when you have no energy to do like workouts and stuff? And I already know I don't eat much food. So it's not like I can do one of those silly diets. It's funny. <laughs> it's, it's not funny. I say it's funny when it's really not. It's partially due to the the whole c camera that that I suddenly triggered this, but at the same time, I, uh, I look fine at this angle. Um, but for some reason, in real life now, I look at myself and I'm like, ooh. As a Christian, like I know our appearance and everything, uh, it's, it's the inner, our inner selves that God loves and we're not meant to be vain and proud, but we're also told that our bodies are a temple to the Lord and we're to take care of them. Well, my body isn't really helping me out in that stage, it's kind of self-destructing. I was just fairly active before. But since my body 
it doesn't like working out. I think I, I told you guys about that walk I went on and almost fainted and passed out because I was walking to town. I could try doing Wii, not Wii Fit, it's called Ring Fit for the Switch. I could try doing that. Maybe do a few like at home workout videos or stretches or something. I know I shouldn't let it become, I guess, a focus to slim down or whatever. But at the same time, I do want to be healthier. It was just a really strange moment that came over me after trying on those clothes and also from seeing the video earlier where, like, I was from a side view and I just, uh, the part that I hate was on full display. Oh, so it hit me pretty badly. I think praying did take some of the emotional edge off. But I'm still, I'm still here in this body, so who knows? Maybe it's a learning curve of something. Who knows? Who knows? But for now, I should probably just go to sleep. I should probably get a rest for tomorrow. And it's a new day. Maybe I can implement something. 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 Why do I sometimes say something? Something. Something. It's a weird one. It's a weird one. New day. The Lord will give me whatever I need for whatever he wants me to achieve. Thank goodness. <laughs>yesterday I ended up doing some filming for the detective video so I got all dressed up and then I also did some thing else I did a small workout and that in the morning but now it's the next day and I slept in probably an hour after I usually do so, and I was dead to the world until then, so that was nice, but I'm still exhausted, of course. So I thought I'd do some reading today. I might listen to a bit of the audio book, but then I'll choose probably one of the 
in a blood and books to read as well um, you'll see all of that in the detective video but getting ready for the video probably was the most draining part but i think in the end i i quite liked my thing i only filmed from like the shoulders up but it worked I'll probably end up turning on my computer to play some music when I'm actually doing the other reading from the actual book. Um, I find that I can concentrate on an audiobook for a couple of chapters if they're like longer reads, so like 20 minutes or so. Um, I do often pause because I'm like, I need to think about it. I need to go off on a tangent of how I would have my silly character act instead of what it actually is doing in the book and then I come back to what really happens but <laughs> I find I often do that if I'm reading a book I also have a separate plot line going on in my own imaginative brain so it's actually quite draining when you do that but <laughs> that's just the way I am being a writer and all so I'm gonna film a quick clip for Oh, I might need to grab my other book. Um, so I'm going to go film a quick clip now just with a rundown of like the two books that I'm currently listening to. Like the story graph blurb and then I'll go from there. I'm getting ready to go out. It's, it's still a couple hours till I go out, but I get ready early and then I rest before I go. Luckily, it's a bit cooler day at the moment. Please stay cool. I got a book haul. A book haul. This one, I, I know what they both are because I ordered them. Well, one is a pre-order and this one was meant to be part of a pre-order but they're sending all three books separately so <laughs> which is fine i like receiving them all um it's just i'm like that's on you but for the cost we'll start with this one struggle bus struggle bus where's the tear line gonna make my own tear line I had to get the price of the package over a certain amount to get free shipping, so I just got one Your Nerve the Dawn to make up that amount. So it's come in. Volume 31. Just the back. Um, this is Amazon now. <clears throat> We are hoping that this one isn't damaged like it's some um, like the first volume. So peel out the edge so I don't cut anything. She is. She 
She seems fine. It seems fine. Okay. Stepmother's March in Volume 2. Look at that. Look at the light. Okay, Webtoon Chapters 20 to 39. To remind myself where I was up to. <laughs> oh well, I'll just have to read both volumes. They spent tonight researching human marriage alliance customs. I do not wish to be ambushed like that again. Uh, yes, I'll let it stay. Sindra nodded and hurried from the train car. Once Sindra left, Wayland faced her and down. You do not have to do this. We can negotiate for another option. This is what the humans want, Ferrandel crossed his arms. If this is what it takes to avoid war, then I must do this. <laughs> Yesterday afternoon, I ended up crashing <laughs> after my babysitting in the morning, which was the easiest babysitting. It was so easy. It was so fun. I had a great time with my nephew. He was a little ray of sunshine. He was. We had a great time. We played some games, and then he ate some fruit, and then uh, I put him down for a nap, and I read some book. And it was all good fun, and then I chatted with my sister-in-law a bit, and then I headed home. But in the afternoon, I was like, oh, I can do some, like, editing or something. Crashed. I read a little bit more, and I just, zoom. And then it was um, sibling night with my brother, and it didn't last long. I think we got to 7.30, and I was like, okay, I'm sorry, I can't do anymore. <laughs> I need to go to bed. So we had our social battery bedtime was 7.30. But then this morning, I woke up. I did wake up when my brother left for work, but I went straight back to sleep. So I didn't really wake up until 10 o'clock. So that shows how much I needed the rest. And then I've just been chilling because I'm so exhausted. I got out some of my washing from the washing machine. <sighs> And I want to do some reading, but I might do that in a bit. Because I've been editing my monthly vlog while I've been going through the month, I think it will be right to go up early. So that's good. I'm feeling good about that, doing that editing. Um, the booktube videos I'm doing take a bit more length and editing and stuff, so... I'm not sure. I'll have to think of some ideas that don't take forever to do. But it's all good. <laughs>
1026끝